Hi. Oh. <gasps> Shh. The stars are sleeping. How many stars are sleeping? Very good. Yes, there are three stars. There are three stars sleeping. Oh, look. The moon is sleeping as well. The moon is sleeping as well. The moon is like a space friend that goes around planets. Earth has one moon, some planets have more moons, and some have none at all. Moons make the night sky feel extra, extra special. We live on planet Earth. Earth is a part of the solar system, and the solar system is a part of the Milky Way galaxy. Within our solar system, we have eight planets that go around the sun, that revolve around the sun. And Earth is one out of the eight planets that go around the sun. All of the eight planets orbit around the sun. Why? Because of gravity. Gravity is a fundamental force that plays a crucial role in our solar system. Gravity is like an invisible glue that holds everything in the solar system together. The sun, which is at the center of our solar system, has a very strong gra gravitational pull. This pull keeps all the planets, moons, asteroids, and other objects in orbit around the sun. It's like the sun is giving everything a big cosmic hug, keeping them from floating away into space. Stars are giant balls of super hot glowing gas. Our sun is the star that's closest to us, and it's the one that keeps us warm and lights up our world. The sun is enormous. It's huge. Imagine you can fit one million Earths inside of it. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It's like the speedster of our solar system, racing around the sun super, super fast, faster than any other planet. Despite being small, it's a temperature roller coaster, meaning it's super hot during the day and freezing at night. A year on Earth is 365 days, but imagine a year on Mercury, only about 88 days. Mercury. Mercury. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Venus, often seen as the bright evening star, is a unique planet with a backward spin. It's super, super hot, even hotter than Mercury because of its thick atmosphere trapping heat like a blanket. Even though it's similar in size to Earth, it has no moons. Venus. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Earth is our awesome home. It's the only known planet with oceans where all kinds of sea creatures live. We have a cozy atmosphere that wraps around us, providing the air we breathe. Earth spins on its axis, giving us day and night. It takes about 365 days to orbit the sun, making up a one year. Earth is just the right distance from the sun. Not too cold, not too hot, making it perfect for life. Earth. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars, often called the red planet, it has a rusty red color because of its iron-rich dust covering its surface. Mars has the tallest volcano and the deepest canyon in the whole solar system. While it's cold and dry with a very thin atmosphere, scientists believe Mars might have had liquid water on its surface in the past. Mars. Mars. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It is the biggest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is like a giant ball of gas, a spectacular striped pattern of clouds. It's so massive that it could fit more than 1,300
100 Earths inside of it. Jupiter has a powerful storm known as the Great Red Spot, a massive swirling hurricane that's been raging for hundreds and hundreds of years. Jupiter's moon Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system. This quick spin makes a day on Jupiter only about 10 hours long, while a day on Earth is 24 hours long. Jupiter. Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. A Saturn's moon, Titan, is the second largest moon in the solar system. Saturn is famous for its beautiful rings made out of icy bits. The planet is not as heavy as water, so if there was a giant, huge bathtub, Saturn would be able to float. It spins super fast, making a day there only 10 and a half hours long but it takes almost 30 Earth years for it to go around the sun. Saturn. Saturn. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is a giant planet with lots of gas. You could not stand on Uranus. Uranus is a big bluish planet. It's a bit wobbly because it rolls through space on its side. It spins in a different way than most planets, making its seasons really long, about 21 years each. Uranus. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. It is a giant planet with lots of gas. Neptune is the last big planet in our solar system. It is like a cold, windy, blue giant. It has big storms, and one is called the Great Dark Spot. A day on Neptune is quick, only 16 hours, but it takes a super long time for it to go around the sun, about 165 years on Earth. Neptune, Neptune. Now, going past Neptune, we find little baby planets called dwarf planets, like Pluto, Aris, Haumea, and Maki Maki. Pluto used to be the ninth planet, but scientists changed its title to dwarf planet in 2006. Eris is also a dwarf planet and it's one of the fur farthest objects we know in our solar system. It's a bit smaller than Pluto, but still pretty big. Eris has a moon, a little companion that grows around it in space. Haumea is a distant dwarf planet in our solar system much farther away than Earth or even Pluto. It's shaped like a stretched out oval or an elongated potato. Haumea is unique because it spins really, really fast and this makes it look different from other planets. Maki Maki. Maki Maki is another dwarf planet, kind of a smaller cousin to Pluto. It's very, very cold on Maki Maki because it's so far away from the sun. Scientists think Maki Maki might have a thin atmosphere, but it's not like the air we breathe. 